What's going on, guys? Boy, I got a treat for you today. So I know it's been a little while since we've had a, a nice release, but I've got a good one for you today. So maybe you have, maybe you haven't heard of Retro FE. I'm sure most of you have. Um, I know a lot of people get a little bit intimidated. Uh, it's really easy to, to navigate in once you get the hang of it. But I noticed that on EMU Movies probably six months ago, you have a user, uh, I believe his name is uh, Poshoff, but he keeps an active packaging of Retro FE. He uploads every month. And I was looking around, and I didn't really like the theme that he's using. I do like uh, the Ergo Proxy theme by Ryuj, R-Y-U-U-J-I. And so I went and found the PSDs for his theme, and I started creating a, a retro FE that is completely modular, no fixed drive letters. You can throw it on a USB and switch it from MAME being your primary emulator all the way to uh, RetroArch. You can choose back and forth which one you want. And so what I've done is all these systems that uh, Poshoff hasn't I'm just going to call him Paul, hasn't uh, integrated yet. I started working on those. And I did notice that Ryu, Ryu, I'm going to call him Ryu, the creator of the Ergo theme, had quite a few um, system collections that were not complete. So I started working on those. So right now, I do have a torrent up, and that torrent is about 40 gigs. And let me show you what... It consists of now let me tell you that it's already configured for the tank stick your joystick the eye pack and 360 controller or Xbox one so right now I do believe I only have about 22 23 systems um, there's actually a few more in there that um, that I haven't added to the the main database so let's just take a look Like I said, I like the NVIDIA Shield look. It's very clean. It's, it's just a good look. See, all the media is there. All the uh, fan art. The only thing that um, is not there, you'll see there are stories missing. And I'll show you what the story is. Stories are. And, uh, as you can see, each game will have its own story. Uh, basically, just a description of the game. Now, for the systems that don't have stories, you have the uh, cover art, you have the videos. I mean, it's not still a great looking, extremely fast running front end. Um, I'm actually really pleased how this turned out, and running through converting all the media is not as difficult or time consuming as I thought. Maybe it is because I've been working on this for a few days. Um, but like I said, there's a 40 gig torrent just waiting for you to download. Now, before I get into it, that does not include the ROMs. They are not included. It's just too big. However, I've been working on something else for you guys. So the reason why, you know, I thought about this is you can grab a 200 gig, 250 gig uh, USB stick, throw it on that USB, and just take it with. You. Like I said, there's no fixed drive letters. It's uh, Mame and RetroArch are just fixed, no fixed paths, so you can throw it on anything you want. So, to make it real easy for you, I have been working on this. So let's go ahead and run it. Well, first, wait a second. Let's go ahead and show you the structure of what you can download. Okay, 
So the structure, you have the emulators and the emulators directory. You have MAME, RetroArch, both of them are up to date. Uh, MAME does have all the system BIOSes. Uh, so does RetroArch, all the cores, bezels, overlays, everything you need, shaders are completely up to date. If we go into our ROMs directory, you'll see everything is laid out into the system name, ROMs. Now I have uh, uh, overrode the, the system defaults, which are collection, system name, ROMs, to make it a lot easier for you to simply just download and add them. And I'm going to show you how you can quickly download them. And let's just take a look at some of Ergo Proxy's themes that I will be issuing packs, installable packs for this, I mean, over the next couple weeks, and hopefully I'll get some people to help me. So if we go into collections, we have all these systems that we need to integrate. But what I'm working on now is not integrating these, because this is actually just easy. It's not, uh, it's just a little time consuming is I'm making it easy for you guys to grab these archives and throw them in the correct folder. Like, real easy. So I'm going to go ahead and start. What's, I've been pulling my hair out. So here you go. I'm going to go ahead and select select retro SD. And my ROMs folder. And I'm not going to extract right now because um, I, I think I have a bug in the uh, zip extraction method, but uh, we'll see. I'm not going to do it now though, but uh, we'll have it fixed here soon. Um, so we, we set our download directory. So we just go to select a system to download. We have all these are complete ROM sets. I even I have a whole lot more to add as well. The main ROMs and CHDs are uh, 194, and these are pulled from a list is pulled from my server, which will update, you know, whenever you run it. Let's just go ahead and pick something. So it tells us we picked 5200. Now, if I have extraction on, which it was working earlier, but it started bugging out on me, we uh, it would extract and throw it in the correct lot in the correct um, folder. But my goal is to have it automatically extract for you, which I had working earlier. I got I was fe feature creeping in a little bit. But, as you can see, we can just So, what I'm hoping to release tomorrow is have the uh, download and extract, and download and configure, download, extract, and delete, as well as about 30 more systems here. Um, what you're going to see, like if I hit links, as we can see, we selected links, but it's going to let us know the size of the the ROM that you're downloading. And this is um, some of the latest, no intros. And I'm going to add a user name and password screen so you can get the absolute latest because some are behind a proxy and uh, an SSL. So the way that I'm grabbing these images, I mean these packages, would require a, um, a secure connection, just your username and password. So anyway, we got links here. We're going to hit download and selected ROM. And there we go. Of 
So there you have it, guys. Um, I've got some really cool videos coming out for you in the next week. I've got a really nice review on a new Dell that is heading my way. I've got, uh, you know what, I'm not going to give it away. For right now, here's the Retro FT already set up for you. I'm going to release the downloader tomorrow. Um, if you guys could comment below and let me know what I should probably uh, uh, focus on, you know, I will make that a, a you know, a priority because I'm kind of jumping all over the place when it comes to uh, features, and you know, a real developer would focus on one thing, perfect it, move on, but. Yeah, <laughs> you know, for what it's doing right now, I'm, I'm happy, and um, I think you will be too. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys, and enjoy the downloads.